Good morning, football fans. We are back. This is going to be another crazy adventure. It is currently two in the morning in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. And today I am flying all the way to England to watch two massive rivalries in England. Man City versus Man United and Tottenham versus Arsenal. First up, I'm getting a flight to Dubai and then going from Dubai back to England, London. So let's get that flight. We just landed in Dubai. We left after the Barcelona game, went straight to the airport, got a flight at three in the morning. We've landed in Dubai at 5.50. Now we're gonna go and get a connecting flight to England. We're gonna fly to London. I am very tired right now. I literally slept that whole flight, so perfect flight. <laughs> it's a very weird experience leaving an airport and I'm walking straight back in, but now we're getting the flight to England. Let's go. <laughs> We have landed in England. It's a bit chilly. <laughs> We're in London now, so now we gotta go straight to Manchester because the derby is awaiting us. So this game is actually massive. And to be honest, it's probably one of the closest derbies that we've had in ages. Like Man United are playing the best that they've played in a long time. Rashford is on absolute fire. It's gonna be tough. And Man City, we just lost. I, I am confident though, like we should win, but obviously it's a derby, anything can happen, but I'm very excited. All right, we're almost there. My dad has picked me up and look at this. This is like Riyadh. <laughs> they don't want us to watch the derby today. It's all good though. Important question though. Man City, Man United. I'm a Man City fan. And so am I. I think we got it from the same place. <laughs> uh, we are Man City fans and uh, Man United will not win today. That's all I wanted to hear. Man United won't win today. Man City gonna win. My prediction, I'm gonna go 3-0 Man City. Erlen Haaland is gonna score two and Phil Foden's gonna score one. Dad. Actually, a bit scared. I think this is the closest derby in ages. I actually True. think a 1-0 City win. Yeah. And I think um, Alvarez will score. If he plays. We take that. All right, we're in Manchester. We're on the way to the game. There's not too many people here, but there are quite a few United fans. We, we found Jack. You're a City fan, right? But you're in the United. Luckily, like, I'm, I'm worried for myself, mate. I hope it's all good. You've got no colours on it. It'll be all good. Who, who do you think is going to win today? City. City? 3-1. 3-1. Harland. Yeah, I said the same. I said Harland's going to get two and uh, Foden's going to get one. He scores every year. He actually does. Bernardo Silva. Yeah. He starts. Zach, you're a United fan, right? Yeah. All right, what did you say the score was going to be? 2-1. Rashford double. Rico Lewis playing right back. He's getting done. <laughs> We've made it to Old Trafford. All right, we've made it to the stadium. There's Old Trafford. All right, so where, where have you come from? Uh, Iran. 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 Oh, and you're a United fan? Uh, no, no, I'm Barcelona. Barcelona. Oh, Barcelona, Barcelona fan. Okay, neutral fan. Who do you think is going to win the game? Man City. Man City? Man City? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, well, you can't say that too loud around here. Yeah. I, I cannot. <laughs> Enjoy the game, my friend. Thank you, sir. Enjoy Thank the game. Much. We've got a ticket. This is where we're going in. We're in. Uh, into the away end. We are here. All right, we're inside the stadium. This is the away end. We're here with Victor. You come all the way from Belgium for this game. That's crazy. Big Man City fan. So who's your favorite player? Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, of course, of course. He's, he's my favorite as well. Absolutely love him. So today, what do you think? Kevin De Bruyne going to score? Haaland. Haaland's going to yeah. score. So what do you think it'll be? 1-3-6. Oh, okay. So Man a few people have said 3-1 to Man City. We take that. But this is the best Man United have been for a while. They're in form. Rashford's going crazy right now. But you still think we're going to win? Yes. I love that. All the way from Belgium. Legend. We are very early. We got here like an hour early and it is chilly. This is definitely colder than Saudi Arabia, but this is Manchester. This is sick. I can't tell you how excited I am. I've never been to a Man City away game at United. This is my first time. So, like, away games are always class anyway, but at United, it's special. It's a derby. Like for me, there's nothing bigger than this. This is unreal. Okay, we have Drew and Medal. They've come all the way from Belgium to watch the game. Can we have some score predictions? 2-4 for four, four Man City. Yeah. 2-5. Okay, Man City gonna win, I like that. Score prediction. 3-1 City. 3-1 City. Oh, mate, I, I, I'm so excited for this. We're right at the back. The players are here. This is class. They're actually playing Luke Shaw at centre back. This is mad. Harland against Luke Shaw. Ten minutes in. This is class. The atmosphere is unreal. Both teams kind of even though, to be honest. One. 
25 minutes gone. Pretty even still, to be honest. Half time, nil nil. It's an even game. City are dominating the ball. But I'm still confident. I'm still confident. 10 minutes into the second half. Foden's gone off. Grealish on. City is starting to turn up now. It's getting exciting. He's a The referee's been given nothing. Finally gives a yellow card. Finally. 65 minutes, 1-0. Jack Grealish. Oh, I love it. 70th minute, they've just brought on Ganacho. I rate him a lot, but I think we're good, sir. I think we're good. United scored. I think it's offside, though. He needs to be offside. The line's going to go to the line. I think it's going to go to the line. to City last minute, Ron De Bruyne. Oh, what is that? This is, this is painful. Full time, 2-1, guys, the worst way to end the battle. If you're on the other side, it's the best thing ever, but on this side, it's just painful. Oh, thank you, thank you. The players came over, it's just painful, but United fans are going to enjoy this one. It is what it is. Game finished 20 minutes ago. City fans still chanting. That's one thing, City fans are class. That's it, City lost 2-1. Pretty heartbreaking to be honest, but we move on, we move on quickly. <laughs> Tomorrow we still got another game, Tottenham versus Arsenal, we will be there. And we're just, we're just gonna move on from this one. Tottenham versus Arsenal, we're in Manchester at the moment, so gonna travel down to London and watch that one. Yes, people, we are back. It is day two of going to two massive Premier League rivalries in 24 hours. Also, game four, I think, of this big wider trip that we're doing. Seven games in 10 days. Obviously, yesterday, we went to Man City versus Man United. Massive game, which we're quickly moving on from. Congrats to Man United. I'll be honest, it was painful, but it is what it is. It's all good. Obviously, the Man City-Man United game was in Manchester. Then yesterday, we came back down to London for the boxing to watch KSI fight. Potentially getting in the ring myself, we'll see. You will see. Now we're in London, so I'm gonna head to the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium to watch Tottenham versus Arsenal. Massive, massive rivalry. This one's got extra little bit of tension because obviously Arsenal are playing insane at the moment. Top of the league. Tottenham don't want them to win the league, so uh yeah, this one will be good. Alright, we're in North London. Oh, we're falls. Hey, you're excited for this one, right? Oh, I can't wait. It's massive. <laughs> Alright, so just to explain forms massive TikToker and obviously massive Spurs fan. So what's happening today? Okay, it's North London Derby Day. Yeah. But more importantly, it's at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, which means <laughs> it's an easy three points for Spurs. We got this up. We got <laughs> Wait, sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, realistically, Arsenal, right now, yeah. probably the best they've been yeah. in so long. They're in form. Obviously, Derby, anything can happen. That's what I'm saying. See, when it comes to form, it doesn't... When it comes to form and a North London Derby, form goes out the window. All right. We kind of got this unwritten rule with Arsenal at the moment, the past six years anyway, where we go to them, give them three points. They come yeah. to us, give us three points, and then we finish above them. This season, <laughs> I'm not sure about the positioning in the table, but the yeah, three yeah, points yeah. Is, is The three points. Away. If you win today, it is massive. It huge. is like... Huge, because if we give them three points, they go, what, eight points clear of you? Yeah, I don't... Yeah. <laughs> if City had won yesterday, I would have been buzzing about today. I would have yeah. been. But realistically, if Arsenal win today, I genuinely think the league might be don't there. Don't say it, don't say it, don't like, say it. That's why you have to win for me, okay? Of course. You have to, okay? Look, we're on it. I'll do my best, and if we're not... I'll get on the pitch. <laughs> you see me play football, I'll do my best. I love it. All right, enjoy the game, bro. Thank you. All right, we're here. This stadium is sick. Honestly, this is probably the best stadium in the league. Like, it's unreal. Yeah. Uh, that's Richarlison's family. You've seen them at the games before, John. I have. I've seen them in the away a couple times. 
Oh, wait, so obviously you're a big Spurs fan. Nervous about the game today? I'm a bit nervous. A bit like, nervous, a bit when, nervous. When, when it comes to Arsenal, you never know what's going to happen, especially if they're at home. But, yeah, Richardson scoring the winner. I'd love to see Richard, Richard's <laughs> off the bench if he's on the bench. Scoring the winner, 2-1 Spurs, it's going to happen. I love it. I, you know also, what? Also, Kane, I think if Kane scores two or more goals, he becomes Tottenham's all-time record scorer. Ooh, that's a big Could one. Mm. And that would be nice to see as well, all right. I need, I need to be fact-checked on that. All right, we're here. We're about to go in. All right, we're all the way right at the top of the stadium. We are in the clouds today, but we're at the game. That's amazing. I'm buzzing for this. Final prediction. I'm going to go for Tottenham win. One nil. Richarlison's going to score. He's going to come off the bench. He's going to score, and he's going to go absolutely nuts. Buzzing for this. Oh, mate, this is sick. This stadium is unreal. Honestly, this is one of my favorite stadiums. Going to be so so good. Here we have the Arsenal team warming up. We got a Tottenham team there. There's Richardson. He's gonna score later. This game feels absolutely massive. If Arsenal win, I think they've pretty much won the league. Like that's that's how it feels like. If Tottenham win, massive win for Tottenham. Because obviously they don't want Arsenal winning the league. The atmosphere outside the stadium was getting a bit nuts. This has got like that big game feel. This is sick. Alright, here we go. Take off, let's go. No penalty, half time. Arsenal 2, Tottenham 0. Tottenham started off well, but Arsenal just dominated since then. Frustrating is probably the main word that comes to mind. I think Conte's got to change it at half time. Definitely needs to bring on Richarlison, change it up somehow, but so far, not good for Tottenham. Tottenham will start this second half way better. This is, this is exactly what they wanted. Frustrating. Finally, Spurs have made it sub. Richarlison's coming on. They need it, to be honest. The Tottenham fans this year, this is brutal. Getting beat by Arsenal, firstly that sucks. But also this is potentially Arsenal winning the league now. Not a good day. Full time, 2-0 to Arsenal. Painful for Tottenham, I'll be honest, but Arsenal just absolutely outplayed Tottenham today. And Tottenham had good spells, but overall you can just tell that Arsenal was clearly the better team. That looks like they're potentially gonna win the league now, which is crazy. Right, that was going to two massive rivalries in 24 hours. Obviously we're on a big trip here. We're going to seven games in 10 days. So now we have to fly all the way back to Saudi Arabia for Inter Milan versus AC Milan. Watch out for that one and I'll see you all in the next one.